can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. For question 62, uh, this is a which, uh, widget problem. If P equals uh, 250 Newton, determine the required minimum compression in the spring so that the widget would not move to the right. Neglect the weight of A and B. The coefficient of static friction of all contacting surface is mu equals 0 0.35. Neglect friction at the rollers. Um, so yeah, they've given us a lot of exceptions, uh, given you know to become an ideal uh, scenario, right? So here there there won't be any friction forces, and luckily there are six of them, three on each thighs, uh, equally distributed. So these three uh, normal forces, these six normal forces, uh, would just cancel each other out, right? So what we're truly trying to find is how much uh, the spring moves to the bottom. Right, the, you know, the more heavier the weight it compresses this, the larger the friction between this and this and, and the uh, object, object A to the ground, the harder it is to move to the right, right? So we're trying to find the minimum, just the right energy, uh, the, I mean force, to make this stop. So yeah, uh, widgets as well, just like a uh, friction problem, right? always draw the two systems separately to each other um, and solve it continually connect these two systems and so does the normal force as well right anywhere there's a contact there's a normal force so let's get started um, over here there's only two forces so it's easy, really easy to draw the conclusion that uh, the spring over here so let's just say the force right uh, 15 kilo newtons times meters and times x right x is the change in the spring we don't know what that is but uh, let's just call it x and the sum of the forces in the uh, y direction equals to zero right going up as the positive so this is negative uh, plus the more normal force at uh, let's just call that b the normal force of b uh, equals to zero so mb equals 15 kilonewtons times meters and this is all for this, uh, so this is all the sy system is going to give us. Let's now look at this system over here. We don't really need to calculate the friction over here because it doesn't really like include anything, right? The friction over here, it's, it's not going to tell us any forces. Um, so look at the shape over here, uh, object A, right? We have the, so let's do uh, some of the Y forces real quick some of the y forces real quick right because we already gotten uh, you know nb right so nb over here minus nb uh, is equal to na na times uh, cosine of zero uh, cosine of sorry yeah cosine of 10 cosine of 10 Right, because NA is perpendicular to this section, and uh, over here, if you're using trigonometries, over here is also 10 degrees, right? And, um, sorry, this should be positive, not equals to, plus this force, and also remember, there's another force going in this direction, right? It's going down, so this force is also contributing, you know, some of the forces is going this way right in the y direction so we have to count that one as well so uh, minus na times uh, 0 0.35 right 0 0.35 times uh, cosine of 10 right sine of 10 and this whole thing give us 0 right this is the sum of the forces in the y direction 1 force 2 force and 3 force and since we already know what NB is, right, um, 15, let's just write it out, 15,000 newtons times meters times X, right? Oh, sorry, times X, I didn't write it over here. Uh, this is negative. Negative. Yep. Negative plus NA. Right, plus Na times uh, cosine of 10 minus Na times 
times 0 0.35 times sine sine of 10 degrees. Whole thing equals to 0. Uh, let's, I think we can simplify, right? Simplify Na to the this side and move this to the other side. So this is 1,500, uh, sorry, 15,000 uh, Newton times meter times x. Oh, wait. Is Newton divided by meters? My bad. That's the Newton times meter. Sorry, I did way too much moment problems, right? Uh, spring constant equals to the force divided by the change in distance. And this over here, you know, when you simplify the 0 0.35 times the sine of 10 times the, you know, min minus the cosine of 10, in, in the end, it should give you 0 0.924 Na. Right, Na equals that force over there. So in terms of ratio, so if you divide by 0 0.24 and 0 0.924 both sides, right? Simplify Na to one side. This should give you one sixteen thousand two hundred thirty-three point I think four newtons uh, divided by meters times the change in distance. Okay, so now we have one equation over here uh, to set. You know, using the substitution to solve with two equations of two unknowns, right? So since we use the y, now let's use the sum of the forces uh, in the x direction, right? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a very, very long equation. So it's uh, 15,000, you know, newtons divided by meters times the change in uh, distance uh, times... 0.35, right? Which is this friction force over here that's going to the negative direction. And also plus 250 uh, newtons, right? Because this is the force of P going this direction, right? Uh, minus the minus Na, uh, which is 16,233.4 newtons per meters. Uh, times x, right? This thing times cosine of 10, right? Which is uh, this force over here going down, right? Times 10, which is the, the x forces of this friction force over here going to the left. And a lot of people actually forget about this. Oh, sorry, uh, times 0 0.35, which is a friction force. And this is the last one force. A lot of people tend to forget, which is the normal force. The normal force at the incline, right? So therefore, the normal force is also going to the right. It's going this direction, right? And that is also a negative uh, force over here. I made the first mistake when I was trying to do the question. I totally ne neglected the Na forces. I don't know, I just guess wasn't paying attention enough. So minus uh, Na, right, times 4 over meters times x, blah, 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 and uh, times, so he, this over here, so we're looking for the the height of the triangle, right? This is the base, this is the height, this is the angle. So we use sine of 10 um, times sine of 10, right? And this whole long, crazy equation gives you zero. Uh, plug everything, everything into your calculator, right? There's only one unknown force, which is the x, right? Um, yeah, manipulate the equation a little bit. It's going to take some time, but afterwards, x uh, should give you uh, 0 0.018296 meters and um, use uh, three significant figures, right? So move one, two, three, four so meters times one thousand. That's a uh, four one eight three millimeters, right? Because one meter equals a thousand millimeters um, and round for three dig uh, digits. So here we go. We have solved um, this right over here, right? Change in, change in x equals 183 millimeters. And that's it for this question. Uh, it's, you know, widgets are not too hard. Usually they won't let you use moments that much, which is really, really nice to be honest in a way, right? And yeah, the key is just to separate these two equations and account for every bit of x and y forces to use the sum of the force in x and y direction. And, you know, usually it should come up perfectly, right? It's usually gonna be a 
uh, uh, two unknowns with two equations, you're going to use uh, either you can do use your calculator, right? TI 84 plus, that's the one I use. I uh, can solve a matrix, or you can use the substitution, which I use in this video. But um, yeah, overall, this is a not really challenging question if you're able to get your minds around it, right? Draw the free body diagram, right? Separately, separately for each, uh, each subject. But yeah. Uh, hopefully uh, you're able to learn something from this video. Hopefully it helped and um, Good luck on your studies. I'll see you in my future videos. Bye If you have more questions uh, Specific questions you would like me to do please comment in the comment section down below